this whole thing has changed, and that's why and we. Well, had but wait, okay, it's changed, right? Due to a lot of stuff that you did. Well, the change I'm talking about is not good, though. The change I'm talking about is that. Okay, I was and it's not, about and it's, yeah, but it's not just me because recently, Spielberg, and Lucas talked about this whole tentpole business strategy, and. These guys are the architects of the, of the blockbuster. Spielberg with Jaws. Jaws, yeah. George Lucas with Star Wars. Star Wars. They're the guys that built this thing. And they themselves said that it, the Hollywood industry still continues in this tentpole business plan. By tentpole, I mean these giant films that cost a ton of money, mm -hmm. cost a ton of money to promote and market. They open on the same day around the world. Mm -hmm. Special effects, I mean, you know what we're talking about. Right. The business is going to collapse on itself. That's why well, I knew this new film I wanted to make, there's still been an exercise in futility to do it. So I said, I'm going to do, go do it on Kickstarter. The goal was we had 30 days to raise $1,250,000, and we raised $1,418,000. Congrats, man. Thank you. So, and congrats this, to the people, by the way, because yeah. the people made it happen. Crowdfunding. Yeah. And and as a teacher, I was slow to the Kickstarter because at the NYU Graduate Film School, I teach only the third year students. they when they're they're working on their thesis films, and my students were using Kickstarter to get the money to complete their films. But the amounts were five thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand, and my TA. We went to Morehouse, Julius, Julius Pryor. In fact, his father and me were classmates. He's my TA. And he said, Spike, you need to check, you need to start checking for Kickstarter. I said, why? He said, well, there was a show, TV show, Veronica Mars got canceled, got canceled eight years ago. They raised five and a half million dollars of Kickstarter to do a movie. I said, why? I said, let's go. Wow. Now, we got to work together, too. Please. So often, there's a plan set up to start, to stop artists from interacting with each other. Mm -hmm. Whether it's the managers, the agents. And that's stopping creativity. We got to be able to say, look, the vibe, okay, you know, we got to bring in the lawyers. Right. But bring them in after we vibe what we're going to do. Yeah. I'm not going to let the lawyers block. And it has, it's happening again and again and again where people are blocking from the artists to get together. It shouldn't be like that. It'd be like, look, give me his number. You don't have to set the motherfucking meeting. Just give me his number so I can call him. We don't have to, I don't have to have you call his agent to call. Nah, we're not doing that. <laughs> no. Give me the number. If you can't get it, I'll get it myself. <laughs> That's right. Because we don't need to have some conduit, some interference bullshit, the artists. Because that's what happens. Artists collaborating. Well, other people get in the mix. And it happens all the time. All the time. And, and a lot of times, it's the artist's fault because they allow that. I was also <coughs> going to ask you um, about um, Mars Blackman and the incredible influence that that character has had on the market for, what, over 20 years? 88. Well, a lot of people think I made She's Gonna Have It right after film school. Right. I finished NYU 82. Wow. We didn't shoot She's, she's Gonna Have It till summer 85. Wow. So for three years I was struggling, trying to get my first feature made. Mm -hmm. I was pen to paper writing letters, no email, pen to paper, writing postcards, licking stamps. <laughs> Who does that now? Right. Licking envelopes to get the money. Right. So we had very little money. We raised the money in stages. Eventually the budget was $175,000, so she's gonna have it. Went on to make $8.5 million at the box office. But I can't. Wait, 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 wait. You shot that for under 200000 Yeah, two six day weeks in the summer of 85. So, we didn't have any money 
I mean, I had to pay other actors, but we didn't have any, I didn't have money to, to, to somebody to play Mars, so I played it myself. And I asked my grandma, I said, Grandma, we called her Mama. I, I need a name for a character. So what kind of character? So he's kind of crazy. She said, oh, I had a crazy uncle named Mars. Boom, that's where the name came from. And so at the time, Michael Jordan's taking over. Right. And everybody's wearing Jordans. That's right. And Mars likes basketball. That's right. So it's a natural connection for Mars' favorite player. Even though he wasn't on the Knicks, his player would still be Jordan. So Mars wears Jordans. Mars is a b-boy, got the casals. Yes. Mars got the nameplate. Mars is wearing the shorts, has skinny, still has skinny legs. So two ad guys for Wyden and Kenny, Wyden and Kenny is Nike's agency. Mm -hmm. They see she's gonna have in Portland, Oregon. They call me up, track me down. We want you to direct commercials in black and white, starring Mars Blackman, you direct yourself and Michael Jordan. But there's one catch. We haven't spoken to Michael yet. Michael not seen she's gonna have, you know, who the fuck I was. So here's key. Here's the key thing. Michael could have easily said, I don't know this motherfucker. He's never directed a TV commercial before. These are my first Nikes really getting behind me. I can't fuck this up. But Michael gives a young, unknown black kid from Brooklyn a chance to direct his commercials. He could have gone to the biggest commercial directors on Madison Avenue. I've never asked him this, but for some reason said, well, will you spike? And the rest is history. Wow. You went on five minutes after what was scripted. To spike, I don't know. He was bringing it. Did that moment go oh, in? Oh, it was in the movie. My block in Brooklyn, the same way probably in Virginia. Everybody was your parents. And they had, the and right. they had permission to whip your ass. They, I was just gonna say, they had the right to discipline you. Everything I'm doing today is because my mother was dragging me to museums. I didn't want to go. And to plays, you said it. And the plays, the yeah. movies. Kids can't be adults. You can't raise yourself.